And the suspect wanted for that early morning stabbing in San Jose was the same man hit and killed by a car in Cupertino just hours later. Welcome everyone to The Four. I'm Alex Savage. And I'm Claudine Wong. Our crime reporter Henry Lee is live at the San Jose Police Department with the very latest. Henry. Claudine, this is a wide-ranging investigation that's already involved three law enforcement agencies beginning with the San Jose Police. It began at 2 in the morning Wednesday with a report of a stabbing at a home on Tahama Avenue, not far from Reed Hillview Airport. We got a call of uh, multiple people that were stabbed at this residence. Uh, when officers arrived, very chaotic scene. San Jose Police Sergeant Christian Camarillo said three victims were stabbed at the home. All are expected to survive. A motive is under investigation, but police quickly identified the attacker and his vehicle because he and the victims lived together. Police issued a be on the lookout to all area agencies. Within a couple of hours, his car was found. A deputy with the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department found the suspect's vehicle in the western part of the city, not too far from De Anza and Highway 85. And soon after, 911 calls started coming in to the CHP. Several of the calls that came in uh, were stating that uh, there was a pedestrian in the freeway. CHP uh, officer Ross Lee says it became clear that the pedestrian wasn't there by accident. That pedestrian hit was uh, jumping in and out of uh, traffic, appeared to be jumping in front of vehicles. Shortly after that, another call that the person had been hit by a car. A uh, driver on his way, just morning commute on his way to work. Uh, it was a Nissan Titan truck. The driver said he was unable to avoid a collision. He stayed on the scene and cooperated with the CHP. San Jose police came to the crash scene. We quickly you know, connected the dots and were able to confirm that the pedestrian that died in that fatality was our suspect for the multiple stabbings on Tahama. The early morning fog made it especially hazardous for investigators, so the CHP shut down all northbound lanes on the highway for several hours. Authorities process both scenes and are continuing the investigation. Uh, obviously, very tragic sequence of events this morning. Uh, three victims, their injuries uh, range from minor to moderate, and now we have the deceased suspect. Now, people at the house where the stabbing occurred did not want to comment today. A woman told me they're still trying to process what happened. The name of the suspect has not yet uh, been released. Had he survived, he could have faced charges of attempted murder. Live at San Jose Police Department, Henry Lee, KTVU. Well, certainly TV multiple News. crime scenes, Henry, multiple agencies working on this. Uh, I'm sure a complex investigation. Thanks so much for that report.